What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and as you could probably already tell from the thumbnail that I got a bunch of A86 lips and so let's go ahead and uh, check them out. So I just went back down south over the weekend and I paid Jacob a visit and I picked up three A86 lips. So here we have a A86 Zenki 11 lip which we're going to put on to this bumper. We have another A86 Zenki lip and this one's for my brother's uh, 11 and then we have this one it's a Trano Zenki lip brand new these are all brand new from Toyota and uh, they're still making these uh, they are quite expensive though about 375 for uh, each one and then um, here is the original so let me go ahead and take out the Trano and then we could go ahead and compare them Okay, so let's go ahead and remove this one. Um, here. Oh my god. Okay, so here's the part number if any of you guys are interested in that. So you go ahead and check that out. Um, can't read any of this, but this is what you'll be looking for. Probably just not a shipping label. But let's go ahead and take this out and check it out. What's cool about these lips is uh, they come with hardware. So it's cool. Brand new Toyota hardware. gosh this car this looks so clean look at this perfectly clean from factory yeah so i picked up these lips from jacob uh big shout out to him again i'll go ahead and link his uh social medias in the description below you guys can check that out go give him a message or uh preferably email he said so he gets back at a reasonable time, about like a day or same day, depending on how busy he is. But super clean. You can see uh, nothing's broken. And here we have the original lip where everything is still intact, but it has this big gash right here. It has uh, some scuff marks there. So other than that, it's pretty clean as well. Uh, none of the tabs are broken and I still have the hardware for it too so yep gonna be replacing it with a brand new clean one so before I put that on let's go ahead and take out the Zanke 11 lip as well And again, here's the part number for the Zanke lip, if you're interested in that, for the 11. And again, here's just the other stickers. I don't know if you're interested in that. And here is the Zanke 11 lip. Super clean. No scratches or anything. And let's go ahead and compare these two uh, lips to see what the difference is and kind of uh, similarities as well. So you can see the Zenki lip for the 11 or the 11 lip, I'll just put, uh, refer to that. It's a lot wider and it's less contoured to the body and the trendle lip is very sharp uh, a little more narrow and so that's pretty much it they do have a kooky 11 lip but i don't like the way it looks because it doesn't have these indentations it's just a straight lip and it kind of looks like a home depot lip or something and then um 
they don't make cookie lips for the trinos so everybody just ends up running the zanky lip and you do have to do some modifications to make it fit but luckily this bumper is a trino so it should just fit perfectly without any modifications uh, i'm not sure what i want to do with these tabs because i don't want to drill holes into my bumper and since these are still brand new you could still get it easily i feel like i'd rather cut these tabs off than to just drill holes into a bumper that's super hard to find now but yep go ahead and hit up jacob shock the mob if you're interested in any lips he has a ton of bumpers as well uh, pretty much anything you want for 86 he could source it for you so yeah big shout out and i'm not gonna open this one it's pretty much the same thing so um or actually i will open it and we could put it on the zinky lip the zinky bumper and see the differences between that as well So this one came kind of oily. I'm not sure why, but you can see it's super oily. Actually smells kind of sweet, so maybe it might be a factory or production thing. But um, it has these numbers as well. So I think that's what Toyota does. All right, let me go grab the um, Zinke 11 bumper and then let's put it on the lip. Okay, so I brought everything in the garage because uh, the lighting is probably better in here anyways. And uh, this is the 11 Zanke bumper. And let's go ahead and put on this lip. This one's already been pre-drilled. Uh, I'm not sure if it's from factory, but uh, that means that we don't have to do anything to this lip. And we could mount it straight on. So let's go ahead and check it out and see how it looks. Or F. And before I do that, let me show you guys the bumper more close up. So you can see there's three holes, one, two, and three there. And I don't know, I don't really have the heart to do that to my bumpers since they're not already pre-drilled. It's uh, quite a lot of holes, so you can see it here. And I've checked the forms and there's different ways to mount these lips. So I'll probably do it that way and then show you guys how to do it as well. So you don't have to drill so many holes uh, just to mount the lip on. Because so I feel like it does kind of take away from the bumper and it kind of messes it up as well. If it's not already done. But this bumper is still very clean overall. It's a very hard bumper to find. Um, all of this stuff could be fixed, little scruffs here. The main thing is the tabs. A lot of people cut them out for wheel clearance, but I personally don't like to do that. But yeah, let's go ahead and um, check it out. Okay. So it should fit. It's like a glove. So let me pull you guys up. Check it out. And there you have it. Man, it fits really well. It's meant for this bumper, so just imagine that on the 86. So clean. It makes the bumper look so much better, more aggressive. And the great thing is this is all OEM Toyota stuff, so it's not like aftermarket or anything. And this is how they designed it and how they wanted it to look like. Let me go get a chair so we can actually prop up the bumper and get a better view at it. Okay, so here we have it, and man, it looks so good. 
Uh, once we get the pump, the bumper painted to be very clean, it's gonna look really good on the car. The car is going back to silver, so maybe I have to paint the top silver or uh, just strip it and leave it all black. I'm not sure what my brother's plans are for this bumper, but I think the top painted silver will look really good. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. And then let's go ahead and uh, take off my cookie bumper and we'll see what our options are to mounting the lip too because it's not going to be this uh, direct. So show you guys in a moment. Okay, so here is the cookie bumper. And let's go ahead and put on the lip and then um, see what we can work with. Yep, so that's pretty much it for now. As you can see right here, these tabs are in, oh my gosh. These tabs are in the way. So probably gonna have to get rid of those, grind them down a little. And it's not a big deal. I don't wanna drill all these holes into this nice clean bumper. So that's the one thing getting in the way. Or let me know how you guys, or anyone that's mounted theirs uh, to their Cookie 11. Let me know how you've done it. Maybe there is a different way. Um, I know some people might mount it sh lower like that. So you probably don't have to do any modifications, but then you get this curve right here that doesn't really look that great. So yeah, I'm not sure. I think I'd rather just cut the tabs and Pull the lip up to where it's supposed to be because it contours really well right here. Let me show you on the other side. The lighting's not that great. So you have a lot of contour here and you kind of want the lip to fit that. So plus it might hide all this gruff that I have right here. So yeah, we're gonna have to figure it out. I'll do some more research, see if there's any other ways um, to do it. But when it comes down to it, I'll probably most likely have to uh, grind down those tabs, which is fine. So yeah, uh, let me show you guys the Trenno bumper and maybe we could figure something out for that as well. Okay, so I'm actually going to mock up the used one because I don't really want to mess up the brand new one. So let me go ahead and take out the license plate. Okay, the plates removed, and let's see what we're working with. So it does fit good, but you can see you need to drill the holes to actually have it sit really flush. So yeah, probably just gonna have to Cut the tab as well. I only see that being the only option, but maybe there's a different way. I know you don't have to drill the holes for the fronts though, because you could just use L brackets for the bottom ones. So you could drill a hole here instead, and then just L bracket it to the bottom, because that looks a lot better. I'm more comfortable drilling holes at the bottom. And there's already uh, OEM holes here as well. So, I mean, you could just mount it to those, which it won't be a big deal. But yeah, it looks good. Um, okay, so we're gonna do some more research cause I don't wanna mess up the lip yet. Uh, mostly because they're brand new. So gonna have to uh, wait a little bit before I make my decision on how I want to mount the lips. Um, some people don't mind, they just drill the holes anyways, but I'm not very comfortable doing that. This is an OEM Zinke bumper and it has no holes in factory and it's super clean. It's uh, They're very expensive now if you do want an OEM one because they are making reproduction ones now. So finding something OEM like this is gonna be uh, 
either very difficult or it's going to be pretty pricey. Um, I think they're gonna be going for 1900 a bumper now for OEM one because the reproduction one to get one here in the States after shipping is gonna be around like 1500 so yep these cars are getting expensive whether we want them to be or not uh, especially parts I would say maybe 10 years ago you could buy a front and a rear bumper for about $900 and that was a lot back then still so um, kind of miss those prices now because getting all this stuff is costing a lot and these are money pits for sure but I don't like anything other than OEM so here we are kind of tired of body kits and uh, repairing those so yeah one thing we could do though is uh, I actually got my bumper brackets and let's go ahead and take off this bash bar and then uh, try to mount the bumper brackets to both the bumpers and then we can actually put on the, the cars uh, properly okay so here we have the brackets and these are the 11 cookie uh, front bumper ones and these are the Zinke Trino front bumper ones and you can see they're significantly different from one another uh, these are smaller and a weird shape and these are bigger and I wish they were all the same because these are getting really expensive I mean that's pretty much everything with this car now right these Corollas are so expensive to own maintain and to just build but yeah so you can see the differences here uh, the Trino is very slim and then the Zenki is very wide and so I personally like these over bash bars if I could get them. I uh, just like to have OEM. They're a lot lighter. Um, I'm not sure if it's better or worse than having a bash bar, but uh, if I could get it, I would, and I like it. So it's pretty cool. Uh, here's the bash bar as well. You guys can see if you're tight on money and you don't have money for like a very expensive bash bar or you don't even have money for brackets because they go for like five to six hundred now before you could if you're lucky you still find them for like 300 which is still a lot uh it's the same price as a bash bar i think that's why people read it just go with the bash bar but um this only costs about 40 to 50 dollars so if you're really tight on budget and you want to just get your jdm bumpers on you could just make a tab here that goes onto the bumper and then this goes on to the uh, bumper support, which is the uh, radiator support or the frame rails. But it's um, pretty simple to make. You just have to have a pipe bender and a welder and just some fab. And then just do some fab work and then that's it. Uh, these bends aren't the best. I don't know how strong this bend is now. This could probably push in if you really hit it that way. But you have a nicer... Um, bender that you can make some better bends and but overall you could just cut it straight here too as well you don't really need this support here you could just cut it straight and just have it to support your bumper up I mean these bumpers are pretty fragile themselves and if you crash it might not I mean survive so <clears throat> yep but this is very heavy metal and you can see the welds they're not the greatest but it works so yeah, I don't know. We try to put this on the Zinke bumper and it doesn't really fit well because obviously it's different. So uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Maybe just hold on to it or or donate to someone that needs it. But uh, we'll figure it out. My brother still has his cookie bumper that needs a support. So maybe we'll just uh, give this to him and then uh, he could run it on his cookie bumper because it'll probably be easier than... It'll probably be easier to put this on that than onto like 11 style bumper. But okay, let's go ahead and um, put the brackets on and I'll show you guys the whole process uh, so you guys can see how it's done. So another thing, I took out these uh, clear ones. They're from uh, 1980 something uh, Toyota Camry and the bumper, it's pretty much identical except for the back where it doesn't have both 
lights like the Trano does. But these are cool alternatives if you, you don't have money to afford uh, the authentic ones as well. And you just have to wire it in. So you can see it's easily wireable. Uh, you just wire this in and then you're good to go. Uh, you might not have all of the options that you want or OEM has, but it still works really great. And they look just, they look perfect, just like it is on the bumper. So uh, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the clear. So I really like OEM uh, coloring, like the amber. And I know some people use like the MR2 AW, AW11 ones where it's clear here and it's red amber here. But I like it all amber. So uh, I'm just gonna try to get some OEM ones and then uh, put those on the car. But yeah, so now let's go ahead and uh, put on the bumper brackets. So let's turn this over. So with these brackets, it's super easy to tell uh, which side goes which. See, there's a R right here, and that just goes to your right. Uh, there is a part number, but it's missing. But if you guys want to know or see, you can't even tell. So sorry, guys. But let's go take these nuts off and then put on the brackets. So there's one, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's on. And then let's go ahead and put on the second one. So it's the same process. And that's how easy it is with these Olya ones. Uh, they just fit on. I do kind of want to clean these up first. They're pretty dirty and has a little bit of surface rust. so. Maybe I'll treat it before I put it on the actual bumper and mount it to the car. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and test fit it onto the bumper. Okay, that took longer than it should have, but they're on. And they're not on fully, um, just on enough to put on the car. So let's go ahead and try it on the car now and see how they fit. Light this in. And get them in like that. That's pretty much it. It's on now. Let's put these tabs down. And you can see it lines up to the back. So, okay, and there's a little bit of a difference. I'll show you. So with the US one, it cuts off at the edge. So you kind of have like a slit. They could just slide it under the bolt and for the jdm ones uh it doesn't it's actually just a hole which i think is better but these two back bolts back here are messed up and they're not coming out they should just slide out so i'm gonna have to figure that out uh probably just because of rust but yeah it kind of holds the bumper in still so it's gonna leave it like that for now But check it out, man, looks so good. Let's put this back down. Okay. 
and it looks great. Can't really see the bash bar anymore. I mean, you can't really see the brackets. They hide pretty well in the back. Uh, mostly when you get the lights in. And then you kind of see it peeking out there, but not a big deal. And then I do want to get the Trino badge, uh, like the OEM one, and then get a JDM grill as well. So still a lot of things I have to get for this car. And then I don't have any hardware for the Levin bumper, but let's go ahead and see how they fit. I'm actually put up on them. Okay, put up on a chair too. And let's see. This side is the left side. And it fits like that. Which is weird because it doesn't have this. Maybe that's what they cut off. Yeah, so that side's been. So this side's been totally cut off. Maybe I'll weld a whole new uh, little bracket for this. And just copy it from here. Cause it's pretty easy. It's just a flat piece of uh, metal. I was wondering why it looked kind of funky. So that's it right there and this side fits a lot better so you can see it's pretty rusty uh, the old paints coming off already so I'm gonna treat it with rust treatment and then uh, paint them again or maybe get them powder coated they're not really I don't feel like it's worth getting powder coated so probably just treat it better and then paint them so I'm gonna do that before I actually uh, get them on the car all right guys, so I'm gonna end the vlog there and uh, I wasn't really ready to show the bumper brackets yet, but I didn't wanna make a video of just showing the lips. And so, uh, but the next video, I'm gonna go to the store and get some hardware for the 11 bumper brackets, as well as the Trano one because they're kind of rusty. So they need some replacing. And we're gonna go ahead, and clean them up, treat the rust and paint the brackets so that we can actually put it on the car and maybe fabricate a new, uh, a new piece for this as well because um i feel like it's not going to be as strong without this part mounted it might be kind of floppy but yeah so um there's still a lot of stuff coming for the corollas it's a lot of work and money building these two cars at once uh corollas are getting very expensive but yeah stay tuned guys and if you stay till the end thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one later peace